Hey guys, that my gamer back here for that video. Guys, it is now this November. That means the Thanksgiving promo is right around the corner. Now, keep in mind, Thanksgiving promo most likely will start on November 19th, but it does end the day after Thanksgiving, technically, because that's when the Blitz promo does go ahead and start. So, it's a weird promo because it goes all the way up to the exact holiday day, and then it doesn't technically end. It just no longer is really pushed because the Blitz promo, the Black Friday promo, will start right after the Thanksgiving is over. So then that promo, of course, will last the rest of November. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get right into it and what to expect. So there's a couple different parts of the Thanksgiving promo. We have the Autumn Blast, the Autumn All-Stars, and then, of course, we have the Cornucopia packs and the Exchange packs. We'll talk about all three. We'll start off with the All-Stars. So how the All-Stars work is they're going to go ahead and choose five or six players, and those players are players that are playing on Thanksgiving. So you can go ahead and complete those sets and get those players most likely to start off at 90 overall cards. Now, of course, with that being said, these cards are more or less like coin up cards because depending on what they do on Thanksgiving will be boost their overall either plus one, two or three, depending on how good they play. So, for example, if they go ahead and go out there and play, you know, let's say let's say uh, CD Lamb's a good example. He plays on Thanksgiving. So if CD Lamb goes out there and catches 10 passes, he'll get a plus one to his overall card. So he'll be a 91 overall. If he goes out there and puts up 150 yards, he'll play a plus two, he'll be a 92 overall. If he goes out there and gets two touchdowns, plus three, he'll now be a 93 overall card. So the point is, you complete the sets, you get a 90 overall card, and then if they go out there and perform amazingly, you can get all the way up to a 93 overall card. So pick and choose whatever card you want, depending on who do you think is going to hit the circumstances and actually get that plus to the overall. Again, this is how it worked last year. Most likely it would be the same concept this year. Now, with that being said, there are two 94 overall champions, a, uh, a part of the Autumn Blast event. And of course, that last year was Tony Romo and Night Train Lane. So it could be similar to what it was last year, in all honesty. Uh, usually, we always get Night Train either during the Thanksgiving promo or we'll go ahead and always get him during the Blitz promo. So it could be one of the two. It all depends on how EA ends up doing it. Could definitely be the uh, Thanksgiving promo as it was last year. Like I said before, it could be either one, though. Now, for the quarterback, for the offensive player, for the Blitz promo, who could that be? I would love to see Terrell Owens. I would literally love to see Terrell Owens as the ma as the champion for the Blitz uh, for the Thanksgiving promo for the Autumn Blast promo. That would be absolutely awesome. Outside of that, though, as you guys can see on your screen, we also do have a couple 92 overall players. So it's going to be a total of eight different 92 overall options. Of course, these are the set champions that would go ahead and go into this set. So we have four players right there, and then four players for Mr. Night Train Lane. So eight total. So just like always, eight different champions that go into the overall champion sets. Uh, we have 91 overall all-star players, like I told you guys before, 92 and then 93, depending on how good they do on Thanksgiving. Um, what I will say overall wise, you know, I'm excited to see what ends up happening, who, what players they choose. We had some good Thanksgiving games this year, so that should be fun. Now, of course, this is after the promo is over. This all used to all be one separate like entity each time. Obviously, this is different now because this is all once the promo is over. So they combine the exchange sets, champion sets all together. But normally, this all three would be separate when you go ahead and actually log into the game. Now, for solo challenges, there's usually always some kind of cool solos added. Last year, they didn't really do much when it came to this promo. Uh, but the year before this, they actually gave us a free, I want to say... Was he a 12 Owens? It was a free wide receiver card. And as you went ahead and did the solo challenges, you started in the 80 overall. You came up to a 93 overall free wide receiver for just doing the solo challenges. So it should be interesting if they give us that same concept this year. Or if they do what they did last year and they kind of neglect that. But it was a really cool idea. You got a free 90 overall card, a free 80 overall card. And then you could upgrade them as you did the solos to a 93. Now, for solo challenges in general, if they do copy what they did last year, it's going to be lackluster. Uh, nothing too crazy. Again, like I said, usually the crazy part of this promo ends up being the Blitz promo. 
Uh, but when it comes to this part of the promo, there will probably be some recipe books you can complete where you go ahead and do the solo challenges. You get these recipes, these item, food items, you put them in a set and you get a card. That's pretty much that. There will also probably be a free, you know, 90 overall card you can get for doing solo challenges. I think last year we had a free all-star player. So most likely you get a free all-star player if they go ahead and hit their compilation on, of course, Thanksgiving. Or they go ahead and hit their um, list, objective list. They'll go ahead and get their card upgraded. But with that in mind, solo challenges, just like last year, it's probably not going to be too, anything too special. Again, like I said, I usually wait for the Blitz promo to really give us the more specialized stuff like that. Now, for the store, there will be new stuff in the store, just like always, just like we've always seen when it comes to the Blitz promo. I mean, Thanksgiving promo. There will be different packs in the store. Now, how EA is doing this year and how everything is kind of working out, my guess would be it's going to be kind of more or less a copy and paste. There will probably be a bundle of store that gives you a guaranteed 90 overall Autumn Blast champion, of course. So that's probably going to be or 92 overall Autumn Blast champion. That's probably going to be exactly what it is uh, this year as it was last year. Now, when it comes to making coins, how can you make coins? Should you invest into something? Should you go ahead and wait? What should you do? Well, first off, I will say because we do have a holiday promo coming up, the number one thing I will say is you might want to go ahead and hold on to some of your power ups and do not sell them. Get a goal, uh, get a player packs. Gap packs are still absolutely money when it comes to getting a lot of power ups, especially exchange sets. You can get a lot of power ups from them too. And just hold on to your power ups right now. Recommendation would be do not sell your power ups, do not get rid of your power ups. Because right now, power-ups could go up in value if certain players get cards during this Thanksgiving promo. We also do get two limited time cards during this Thanksgiving promo. So, again, those things, those limited time cards will be 94 overall cards. So, again, like I said, there's going to be a lot of content coming out. Um, but then we kind of get into the Blitz promo, which we'll cover in a separate video. Because uh, there's a whole entire 19 yards of the Blitz promo we have to go ahead and cover too. But with that in mind, guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'm really interested to hear your thoughts and opinions. Uh, do you love the Thanksgiving promo? Do you hate it? I know some people dislike it completely. Now, the last thing we got to talk about, guys, is a cornucopia pack. What is a cornucopia pack? Well, a cornucopia pack, guys, and it's actually not going to be in this game right here, but it's pretty much going to be exactly as followed. It's one player from each promo this year. So, for example, last year... If I go ahead and go to the promo set, it's going to be one veteran player, one heavyweight player, one um, flashback player, you know, one legend card, one series redux card, one uh, everything. Every single promo this year, you get one card of that promo and you get it into out of pack. Now, the you might say that sounds awesome. That's a really cool concept. The issue is that usually pack cards are not boosted for it. So it used to be in the past, they were boosted. It used to be like you literally open it up, cost 500,000 coins, and you could get insane stuff. Nowadays, it's pretty much, it costs pretty much like 250, 300,000 coins. And all you get back in reality is absolute dull crap. Like you don't want to get anything good. It is nothing is guaranteed. It nowadays, how it works is nothing is guaranteed. You could get all 80 of all cards. It's just one guaranteed slot of each promo. So, kind of does suck. But like I said before, going to be interested to see how they do it this year. Guys, if you're not done so already, make sure you check out my tech channel. Ryan Tim Tech, we're about to hit 1,000 subscribers over there. I do appreciate everyone, you guys, hitting that subscribe button over there. Also, check out Fancy Truck Stop, my fancy size football channel. Make sure you check out that out too. And finally, that Mike Gamer 2. I've been uploading some different other games and Madden over there. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys next one. Peace out.